Hi guys, so before we start this video, I just want to say that we finally hit 150 subscribers. So thank you guys so much for that. A uh, video will be coming out soon about that. But 40% of you guys who still watch my videos are not subscribed. So if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. It's free and you can always change your mind later. Alright, with that out of the way, let's get into the video. Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a compass tracker player in Minecraft Java Edition. So you can use this in any multiplayer or Minecraft realms, and it doesn't require any plugins. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Alright guys, so all you're going to need for this tutorial is a command block, which you can get by typing in slash give at s command block. There we go. And as you can see, I got another command block, and then a compass, and an item frame, and I'm just using this item frame so I can show that it works. But if you're in a, a world with um, some of your other friends, you can just check to see if it works by seeing if the compass tracks them. Alright, so what you're going to want to do first is place down your command block and right click on it to open up this command block interface, and then type in the following command. And I will have all of the commands that you need for this video down in the description below. So you're going to want to type in slash execute at, so not the at symbol, but the word at, and then the name of the person that you want to track. So I'm just going to type in my name, run, set world spawn, and then three of these little squiggly lines. And over here where it says impulse, change that to repeat. And over here where it says needs redstone, change that to always active. If you've done it correctly, you should get a bunch of uh, things in the chat that say set set the world spawn to like whatever um, coordinate you are, you're at. And you can see that it works by if I place down the item frame and then the compass, you can see that it keeps on following me around. But I'm sure that you don't want all of this stuff in your chat window because you can't really even like, type anything. It just gets lost into the abyss of your chat. Um, so all you need to do to fix this is type in slash game rule, command block output, false. And now, if we just wait a few seconds, there we go, now all of the chat has disappeared, and it still works. If you place down the compass, you can see that it's still tracking me. However, there is still one more problem that we need to deal with, and that is the fact of these chunks where the command block is unloading because if the chunks where the command block are unload then that means that the command is no longer going to be running so you can no longer use the compass to track your player so all you need to do is see to see what chunk your command block is is hold f3 and press g and now you can see all the chunk borders if i go into the next one it shows these and if i go back in here it shows these chunk borders so what you're going to want to do is go on your command block, or you can stand anywhere in the chunk that the command block is in, and then type in the following command, slash, force load, add, and then two squiggly lines. If you hit enter, then that means that this chunk is going to be constantly loaded, no matter how far away from it you go, and just to demonstrate that, I will go thousands of blocks away in a certain direction. And now, as you can see by our coordinates, we have traveled about 1,500 blocks away. But if we place down the compass and the item frame, it's still going to track me. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure to leave a like and consider subscribing. It's free and you can always change your mind later. So, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!